Palm Beach is one of the most beautiful places in the world. And the chicest people live here at least part of the time. But how did such a small, hard to reach community become one of the most popular resort fashion destinations? Palm Beach's resort lifestyle began in 1880 with the opening of the Coconut Grove Hotel, the first of three pre-Flagler lodgings. Adventurers came to enjoy the warm weather that allowed for a variety of outdoor activities, including swimming, hunting, fishing, and sailing. The Coconut Grove Hotel became the social center as the evening entertainment of games, music, and conversation brought tourists and locals together. In the 1890s, Henry Morrison Flagler's investment in hotels and the Florida East Coast Railroad changed the nature of Florida tourism and solidified Palm Beach as America's premier luxury resort destination. It became easier and safer to travel down the Florida Peninsula where visitors could find luxurious accommodations. Both men and women began to include lightweight, less restrictive clothing for Florida's warmer climate in their suitcases. As the Great War closed access to European resort areas, Palm Beach emerged as the winter playground for the elite. What was worn in Palm Beach soon began influencing trends at other high-end resorts. By 1916, with the opening of Fashion Beaux Arts, a fashion and entertainment mecca, Palm Beach quickly became the winter fashion capital of the world, featuring the latest fashion from New York and European designers. Architect Addison Meisner changed how the elite enjoyed Palm Beach. When the Roaring Twenties swung into high gear, former hotel customers commissioned Meisner to create houses where they could entertain on a grand scale. High-end fashion houses such as Brooks Brothers and Saks Fifth Avenue opened stores in town. By 1925, Worth Avenue became the latest shopping destination, accommodating a growing number of those enjoying the leisure time. Fashion editors soon began referring to Palm Beach season in their magazines. In 1928, the New York Times wrote, once there were four seasons, which were as clearly marked in the fashion world as elsewhere, but now there is a fifth, the Palm Beach season. Because Palm Beach became such a destination for, you know, the cliche of uh, the rich and famous, whether somebody was a, a bold historic name like a Vanderbilt or a movie star or another very important social player, for fashion designers, it was incredibly valuable to dress these women because they were the original social media stars way before the internet. If you were dressing somebody of international renown, it really could help propel your brand. And Martha Phillips was very instrumental in uh, creating exposure for a lot of the new designers who eventually became household names because she was putting clothes on some of the most notable uh, personalities of the 20th century. The activities and social programming at the Everglades Club are exactly what affected the designs of fashion here in Palm Beach. One of the things they uh, thought of was to create a Wednesday afternoon luncheon called the Tombola. They invited the world's top designers to show their designs during that lunch. In the teens, 20s, 30s, and 40s, and even going into the 50s, it wasn't rock stars and movie stars who were the fashion icons here in the United States. It was the wives and daughters of senators, presidents, and the aristocracy who were appearing on the cover of Harper's Bazaar or in the society pages of the New York Times or the Chicago Tribune. And of course, they were all members at the Everglades Club. So it became the uh, dream of every designer to show their clothes during these luncheons, hoping that, for example, Mrs. Vanderbilt or some well-known wife of an industrialist or personality would purchase one of those dresses somewhere because they knew that if they were wearing them, they would appear on the cover of Harper's Bazaar and, and it meant success in selling and promoting the, this merchandise. In the last half of the 20th century, more people found the joys of seeking their winter refuge in the Palm Beaches. Railroads continued to bring visitors, but the new interstate highway system and expanded commercial airline routes made South Florida a viable, affordable option for many Americans. 
New fashions debuted at resorts, and guests enjoyed the relaxed, unrestricted atmosphere that permitted them a new freedom of expression with their choices of clothing. The Colony Hotel hosted fashion shows throughout the 60s and 70s, helping to introduce new fashions to customers throughout the world, including the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, who visited Palm Beach frequently. The Colony Hotel opened in November of 1947, at the height of the post-World War II construction boom on Palm Beach. The Duke and Duchess of Windsor were known to spend a month during season in our penthouse, and celebrities such as Frank Sinatra, Judy Garland, Sophia Loren, and John Lennon frequented the hotel. Famed society photographer Slim Ahrens is known for having various photo shoots at the hotel, of which the most famous was called Leisure and Fashion. The Colony Hotel has always been synonymous with fashion and style. As Palm Beach continues to influence the world of fashion, the rise of the resort wear industry has had a profound impact locally and around the world. Retailers are instrumental in selling winter vacation wear, and the design houses use these trends to forecast what styles will sell for spring and summer. Just as much as my grandmother influenced the style and fashion of Palm Beach, she was inspired by it. Palm Beach is often synonymous with glitz and glamour, and certainly that's part of the story. But there's an essence to Palm Beach of the island community that growing up surrounded by the ocean, out in the sun, with dinner parties that turn into pool parties all year long, uh, that piece gets captured in her clothes, light and bright and joyful all year long. Palm Beach evolved from an isolated, hard to reach speck on Florida's East Coast into a desirable lifestyle destination with its own flair that continues to influence fashion and captivate onlookers.